uh, you once told me that Kerala had, uh, you know, relatively, you know, fresh or non-polluted atmosphere, air. And Gavi yeah. and Malapuram was, uh, was the purest air in India, you know, what you can get. Uh, how do you think this uh, fire will affect that, that kind of scenario? No, no, no. I don't think it is going to impact all over Kerala or something like it. This have its impact too. This, this, this is going to go up to 25, 30 or 50 kilometers. But you need data for that. Mm. All nearby monitoring stations data must be checked. And the Generally, what happened? They're collecting by either by automatic stations or by manual stations. Mm. So they have to take that uh, filter papers and uh, send for the further analysis. I think CPCB is doing it. Mm -hmm. So on the basis of that, we know the impact zone, 30, 40, 50. One, one thing is that if we are uh, lucky in that way, you are uh, in the coastal area. Yeah. So sea breeze may be taking the smoke with it, okay. but we can't be happy and relax with that key, you know, everything is fine. We, mm -hmm. we must do it. We must collect the basic data because, uh, because this uh, Brahmapuram is too big a fire. So everyone is talking about it. Okay. But uh, mm -hmm. in Kerala, we are burning this waste everywhere. That's, that's another thing which I wanted to come to. So, so the whole question is about management of waste and there needs to be urgent uh, program to, to do it scientifically, is it not? Sure, no doubt about it. We have to plan it. And the, the, the necessary part is urgent uh, short-term step is you have to make aware your citizen. Okay. Yes, sir, uh, no doubt you are uh, collecting it and burning it. But whenever I came to uh, Kerala, I see the plastic is now, you are not getting it. But then too, you are burning a lot much thing. Okay. The burning, why we are burning? The bioma, uh, bio, bio, biomass burned somewhere or other impacting your respiratory system. Your population density is less when compared to Delhi, so you are not that much polluted. You are lucky you are getting the rains to it, wash it, so your number is less. But if you are burning, you are emitting the more toxic emissions. Okay. So what is needed urgently is documentation and study of the flora and fauna and also human beings around, especially those people yes. who, who did the firefighting uh, and uh, rescue, uh, you know, operations. Yes. And uh, the staff which work there on that rest site, okay. their health checkups are required because this emission, it's entering into them and they are working there long term. Because today is a big fire, it's in media. Okay. Otherwise, do I know ki, there will be small fires always. So the smoke is there. And as I said, you are at the coastal bank, so it is get cleaned. So you are uh, not okay. noting it. Yes. So more scientific management of the site and collection of the uh, samples and collection of the uh, data is required. Okay. Because we don't know how much emission is there. Anything, if you want to control anything, you have to monitor. Yes. The, the, you see, see uh, a lot of people in Kerala compared the whole situation with uh, Delhi. Uh, how comparable these two uh, uh, situation is? Because Delhi is polluted, as you said, the static uh, concentration of population. Well, Kerala is not. But, uh, but the, the argument is that Delhi had more instances, more uh, uh, population, more pollution, but this is just a sporadic thing. 
look here you are comparing apple with oranges okay when you talk about delhi delhi is always we say it's a polluted uh internationally yes we are polluted no doubt but now if someone has asked me as a scientist i will tell it's dust delhi is situated in indo gangetic plain which is dusty by its location and by its nature and when you say particulate here 500 600 or 400 on a given day when it's worst 80% of that is normal wind blown dust except that winter period when the smoke is coming from the nearby states the the delhi city is the most studied city your data is available for this city and when you talk about vehicular vehicular we know 8% to 10% and winter 20% and when you talk about wind blown dust this is giving the much of the pm here in delhi is natural dust it's the wind blow it is not toxic okay. but what emitted on that day at cochin and they compared ki aqi is poor or very poor which is always very poor in delhi in that part in that 400 everything is toxic so in the worst condition say 400 my toxic is 25% but on 10 days when you had 350 or 400 particulate matter your 100% is toxic okay. that's a difference so you can't compare and especially event like this when fire happens or any chemical accident happens that is not comparable that you have to think in isolation and you have to deal it as a as a emergency yeah. okay. it is not your geographical location which uh, did it yeah, you have you you are a professional you will be monitoring what is happening there are you what's your information are you satisfied with the steps taken by the corporation the people the system there in delhi no in uh, kerala in kochi after this actually what media is reporting it's not very scientific yeah. but uh, the the pieces what i am getting from the uh, actual scientific workers what they are doing it we have to take much more steps and uh, if you ask me we have to start yesterday itself <laughs> it's we are already doing it. <laughs> because we lost that valuable information what happened still we don't know why it is burnt okay. it's a sabotage it's a plant actually methane is coming it out or not here what happened we are generalized we are working on the other sex experiences yes uh, it happened delhi due to methane so it may be methane here no you have to monitor you have to cross check we are working in two different geographical area yeah we we we, we i don't know the brahmapuram is the engineered site or not i have doubts or it's simply dumped and they started and one fine day we declared it's the the municipal waste dumping site yeah i think most of the dumping sites in kerala are like that they started in initially and then uh, go about it So that's the way they they do but anyway so what you are suggesting is that start monitoring studying uh, the whole situation what is emitted what uh, what are the particles which are emitted and you know, what are the metals as you said that which can you know which will attack which organs all these things have to be mapped properly that's your suggestion first of all we we have to go through first of all so we have to inventorize who are monitoring on that days maybe the kerala pollution control board have some monitoring station 
near by some major industries if they have or shipyard or someone is monitoring it so whatsoever data is available take it out take the meteorological data wind speed wind direction and map the population which is the vulnerable or most impacted population then chemical analysis or what what emitted there or you have to collect that material and send to some academic expertise uh, uh, lab and you once again in the lab you develop the fire and you try to know what emitted on that day and on the basis of the health impact study must do and if anything measure you have to take the action on it. Okay. Okay. and you have to develop a sop stop such type of fire in future future if only temperature is the reason so we are in the march only we are going up to may june the temperature will be high we have to take all precautionary measures okay. we have to learn from our uh, faults failures yes then yes. only we can avoid this okay thank you uh, dr george because uh, that's uh, Welcome. Welcome. you know because there is hardly any scientific analysis of what's happening there is big blame game happening in kerala which is very unfortunate as you said uh, you know people uh, people of kerala origin are worried because we are so, we are proud about the you know the pure air which we could uh, you know <laughs> smell when we go back but uh, that's being threatened and i am sure the the authorities and the decision makers will listen to scientific uh, uh, advices uh, and uh, incorporate people like you to tackle the problem thank you thank you welcome, welcome. thank you thank you sir